Brothers and sisters of the Celestial Energies, Brother Wisdom, just want to come to you with a quick video. We're talking about the two moons, all right? We've got to understand the function of the moon. What is the moon function? We talked about this one time before, how our moon uh, is responsible or our moon is the celestial body of our planet that controls and delivers certain energies to our bodies um, that uh, uh, works with our psychic abilities, our celestial abilities, our powers, uh, all the things that belong to us. So um, I'm going to put a video. I'm going to put a couple of videos in the information box. Uh, there was a, a video where this, uh, this brother um, five years ago, he had a dream about uh, two moons. That was a video about this young white lady. She had a video. I mean, she had a dream about uh, two moons as well. Okay, so what, I, what um, I need you guys to understand is that the two moons, or the extra moon that is here, is designed to increase the plasma energy on our planet. Yeah, we watching Wages World. Wages World is looking at the sun, but we have multiple suns around our planet. But the moon, the energy of the moon is far more powerful than the energy of the sun. All right. Know this. All right. The energy of the moon is far more powerful than the energy of the sun. Even though the sun heats up the day, the energy of the moon is the energy that literally feeds our psychic abilities. Yes, the sun or, um, works with our pineal gland but and, 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 and some of our other uh, physical attributes, but the moon is, is responsible for what you call powers and, and abilities. Okay, so what we have is we have uh, an additional moon that is coming to our atmosphere, which means that our planet and our, our our planet is returning to the original state that she was in before the fall. Okay, you have to remember that when when these uh, reptilians and, and archons and Tataris and all came to our planet uh, some time ago, they uh, offset the balance of our planet. All right, that battle that took place on our planet, where they 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 literally uh, sent sent blasts into the uh, the universe and, and all, the, all all different areas, and uh, literally offset the balance of, of of nature of our planet, just to reduce the amount of plasma that was coming into our bodies because we were working directly with uh, plasma energy. All right, this is how we operate with all of our inner abilities. All our inner abilities are based upon plasma. So the second moon that's here is designed to uh, operate or, or increase the plasma energy um, on our planet within our bodies. Uh, many of us are now uh, at the point that we're really not eating much. You know, like yesterday, my wife and my, and my daughter and all, we, we pretty much didn't eat the whole day. The first time I really ate was about uh, 9.30 uh, uh, last night. And that was about the first time that I, that I actually ate anything. Um, so you gotta understand that these two moons that are here, the two moons are designed to feed our bodies. That's why we didn't eat much because we were full of the plasma that was necessary. That's why we eat now because we're trying to replace the plasma that is missing. And, and now that these two moons, that the, the extra moon is here, we're eating less. All right, because the plasma is feeding us, is 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 moving uh, 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 through us. So this is what the two moons is about. When, um, some people may, some people have said the religious uh, sector said this is the, well, Jesus is coming back. You got to understand, 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 my people. The when they talk about the Christ, we the original people. Remember, we the original people are the Christ. Okay, we are the Christ. We're the ones who literally have the ability to do everything that this book the bible said christ did so we being plasma beings in our full state yes we can walk on water in our full state yes we can we can fly in our full state we can we can heal you know we can do all these things in our full state of of of, of, of being okay so you gotta understand what the second moon is all about okay that's that's one thing we gotta really take in perspective all right so so much has been removed from us. So much knowledge has been removed from us. And the moon also restores lost knowledge. All right. Knowledge is energy. What is this energy? It's plasma. All right. 
So this is plasma. This is this is ancient plasma atoms coming and being emitted into our bodies and restoring the original mindset that we once had. Okay, so you got to understand what plasma is. All right, plasma holds a lot of energy. Plasma holds a lot of power. Plasma holds megatons of of different uh, uh, levels of power and energy and knowledge and intellect. All of it is, is, is beyond ancient, it's old, it's been here forever. Just like we, the original people, have been here forever. So one thing you gotta understand is these two moons, the, the second moon is here, like we said, to bring the or, or to restore the original balance here on the planet. So it doesn't matter whether these reptilian beings or what you call white people, or whatever, uh, uh, Bill Gates and all that. It doesn't matter whether they uh, uh, spray the sky or, uh, and try to make it cold. It doesn't matter at all because all of this here, what it is, is just a facade. It's just something to keep us from focusing on. Uh, uh, tightening up ourselves and it's, it's designed to keep us from leaking into our celestial bodies. All right, so we got to understand what is actually going on, what is actually taking place. And this is what the two moons are all about. The two moons are all about restoring what belongs to us, which is that power, that's that energy, our planet. Our planet is 99% plasma. So now that this second moon has appeared in the sky, all right, the second moon has literally appeared in the sky. We're having an influx of uh, uh, earthquakes. All right, and because of the earthquakes, you remember we talked about it. Because of the earthquakes, you know, we, we the, the, the the planet is is reshifting. All right, so remember what we talked about it before. The earthquakes are nothing but plasma discharges on the ground, just like when the when the when it, when there's lightning, uh, when there's lightning that's, that's in the sky. And, and you hear the lightning uh, uh, rumble, and it's like it's going boo 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 boo. That's what the same thing is doing in the ground. All right, but it's it's because it's the energy is compacted with 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 uh, with dirt, which is crystals. All right, it's compacted with uh, with with lava, with water, all types of other elements on the ground. It makes the plasma more powerful than it would be uh, uh, above ground, up in, up in the atmosphere. All right. So these two moons have literally in, in, infused or increased the uh, amount of plasma that's being produced on our planet. All right. Um, and it's and it's, it's, and it's, a, it's a very powerful event. That's why, you know, you, you, when, when they, the earthquakes go and it goes and, and, it, and it's shaking and it's shaking and it's shaking. These are huge, colossal plasma deposits that are that are like boom, 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 And they're just they're just exploding. And these explosions are causing the ground to shake and cause everything on the surface of the ground to shake also. So this is what the two moons are all about. Just wanted to pass that on to you guys. I want to do a visual uh, video also, but just want to pass it on because we got to understand the science of our planet, the science of our universe, the science of our galaxy. That's what we have fallen off from is the science of it all. So these two moons are important because they bring they they are restoring the original uh, energy. That's why they said in the state of the book at the return of the Christ. You got to understand the return of the Christ. We are the original. We the original people. The return of the Christ. We are the most powerful beings on the planet. It's just that we're waiting to be activated. All right. And we're waiting for this energy to be released onto us. And once we're activated, we're going to we're going to show these these uh, archons, satires, reptilians, the insectoids, the the arachnids, you know, arachnoids, arachni I'm sorry, the arachnoids and, and, the, and the tall whites, the short whites, all these beings that are on our planet, these orcs and all these all these other uh, what they call white people. We're going to show them what power we have. We're going to show them we have more power than their uh, 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 F, F-22s and, and their Apache helicopters and all their tanks and, 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 and all their, their missiles and everything else that they, that they created for the destruction of our planet and the destruction of our people. All right. But we got to understand or understand or overstand by people that this is a very powerful time in our lives. And we must focus on that. This is happening in our lifetime. This is literally happening in our lifetime right now as we speak. All right. So it's important that we um, grasp this knowledge of the two moons. The 
spiritual moons are highly, highly powerful celestial bodies that are designed to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm being rhetorical so you guys can, can understand this. So designed to restore the, 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 the depleted plasma that's within the planet and in our body. All right. That's what the two moons are all about. That second moon. Would there be a third moon? Possibly. Don't take it from me. All right. Would there be a third moon? Because our planet is a multidimensional planet. That's in a multidimensional galaxy. And that galaxy is in the multidimensional universe. And that universe is in the multidimensional cosmos. All right. So we're going through multiple, multiple dimensions and when and, and going through the uh, gateways and gates and 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 paradigms and realms. And 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 we're we're steadily flowing and, and moving higher and coming to higher energies. And the higher the energies are, which means that when, when you say when you go into like Wages World said, um, said uh, scientists said that that we're in a part of the universe of the cosmos so that where the magnetism is is, is even higher. You got to understand. And magnetism is equal to plasma. Remember, plasma uh, uh, can can feed on uh, uh, magnetism, and plasma also can produce magnetism. So, so anytime you see an influx or, or, or high level of magnetism, that means that you have a higher level of plasma energy. Which means that uh, that when you get a higher, when you get into a higher level of plasma energy. All the celestial bodies across the cosmos, across the universes and galaxies and all, will be added um, an extra uh, 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 higher level of, of uh, celestial bodies, or add, added extra moons in order to regulate the energy, because that's what the moon does. The reg moon regulates the plasma energy. So, yes, the plasma is rising. This is the, 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 the year of the plasma apocalypse, where all the plasma is going to be revealed all over the world. And we're going to see the truth in everything. All right. So the key point is focus on yourself. Don't worry about this inauguration and and the, the White House running and Trump. I see everybody posting all this stuff about Donald Trump and all that. But nobody's looking into science. This is where we fell off. We have lost the knowledge of science and we got to get back into the science because the science is everything for us. Science is literally everything. Without science, we literally have no knowledge at all. We have to get back into science. All this other garbage that's on the planet, it means nothing. That's why we went into talking about perpetual motion, centripetal, uh, 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 talk about centripetal force and 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 and, and uh, um, perpetual motion and 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 uh, entropy and and and. Um, all the all the other things that we study because it's important that we get back into science because as as plasma beings of this planet we were highly what you call conscious or highly uh highly uh high-minded beings that that literally uh, uh focused on science all the time this is how we were able to build such great projects that we had and they were great and powerful because we focused on science all right, so let's get our minds back into science. All right, study every level of science that you can possibly study. Magnetism, electricity. Uh, 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 we're dealing with the chemicals, the chemistry, the 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 um, the, the crystals or whatever. This is all about the science. All right, and this is what we got to get returned to when we start opening our minds up to the science. We start opening our minds up to the more powerful uh, energies that's all around us. Okay, guys. So just want to share that with you. Oh, that's a red robin. I mean, oh, uh, 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 yeah, that's a, uh, a red. Um, uh, oh my goodness, I forget the name of that bird. But it's been said anytime you see one, it lets you know that the ancestors are around you and watching over you. Hmm, beautiful thing. So yeah, um, it's important that we get back into science and 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 the knowledge of who we are. Okay. So I just shared it with you guys. I gotta go, and I'll catch you guys a little later. But remember, the two moons are about the second moon is about uh, 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 restoring that plasma, the lost energy, or, or in the influx of plasma on our planet. And we're ninety nine percent plasma beings, which means that it's it's it's, it's uh, uh, restoring the energies back into us also. Okay. And as usual, all power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings, and may chaos reign with you forever and ever. All right, power to you all.